Today we're going to patch in the garage telephone. So I've already cut the wire down to the length that I want it to be. So we need to strip it back and put the the phone line on. So I'm going to strip it back to about here. This is not the tool that I want to use. I can't find the crimping tool so I'm just using this 14-2 uh, stripper for now which I think should work. Yeah that worked fine. Didn't cut the wires at all. So we know in the garage I used the white and green wires so we're going to take the others and just back them back them out for now. I will be using a couple other ones. I want to put probably two more lines, maybe three in the garage. Uh, definitely that really loud bell ringer and maybe a cordless. So, got the two wires exposed. Now, uh, I'm going to have to plug here. And we're going to stick the plug onto here and we'll keep that twisted for as long as possible. It's got to go into the two center things. Looks like that was successful. So now we'll go ahead and crimp it down. And that should be it. Should be that simple. Now this is ready to go into uh, into my amplifier here. Add it to the splitter. I'm going to get another splitter because this one is now full. We're going to need many splitters. All right, let's go see if that telephone works. I did test this telephone prior to the install, so if it doesn't work, there's some kind of a wiring issue. Telephone works. Whoops. The this is one of the old mechanical dial ones. It's a little bit it's a little bit flaky. I don't like I don't like that. You know, this is one of the rare cases where the electronics was actually better than the mechanical. Um, yeah, it's double dialing a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and swap it out with a different unit. Um, I'm generally a major major advocate for mechanical stuff, but when it comes to these old dial pads the uh, electronic ones did seem to be a little bit more reliable over time this could be cleaned and fixed fairly easily you know so that's an advantage that it has over the electronic one the electronic dialer stops working it's a complicated situation this could be cleaned and would probably provide decades of reliable service once again but uh, it's a little bit flaky and I don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I got a bunch of old junky 2554s over here. Junky as in like cosmetically junky. They're not junk. They're great. They're great phones. Um, and even though that phone in the garage 
uh, would only be primarily for uh, receiving calls. It absolutely is not inconceivable that an emergency could arise in the garage where you need to make a call and so it needs to be reliable. Now this is a mechanical one too. I think this one's also mechanical. So all these two 554s are a mechanical dial. Um, so let's see. Um, I think this is the matching. Uh, oh, that cord is busted. The click is uh, is busted off of the needs a new end. So, um, I'll just grab the cord from this one. For now. These phones are really crusty. I don't know where these were stored, but it's not. Uh, not ideal. They just feel like they were in an attic or something for many, many years. I know they were in my uncle's attic for a while because he let me keep a lot of stuff at his house uh, before I was able to move out. I know they were in his attic for a year or two. Uh, but this is these, these I think we're sitting somewhere else unhealthy for quite some time. Alright, so let's see here if this one works any better. I have plenty of um, electronic ones I could I could swap in, but I'd just rather use one of these funky ones for in here. Because if any phones are going to get dirty, it would be this one. Ugh, this thing is all screwed up. I don't like these mounts. They just didn't work that good. I don't think that they ever did. Okay. This one's flaky too. Oh, no, it's okay. Nope. It's almost like it just needs to get... Um, let me just call something here. No, nah, it's not, it's not going to be reliable. Add this to the pile of phones to fix. Try that other one, and if it's no good, which it probably isn't, then uh, I'll just put an electronic one in here. Sometimes when you have enough stock laying around, it's not worth playing with stuff that's not going to be reliable, especially in a case like this where it's going to be the could be the only telephone in the room, you know. Uh, and there's certainly emergencies that could arise when you're working on heavy equipment. So this telephone absolutely needs to be reliable. Got one other one here. This one, uh, it's all metal. Oh, this one is all, uh, it's got a different mount. So that's not gonna work. Okay. Then I'll just put this electronic one in, which I know works. Yeah, this is an electronic one. It's a GTE. And it's got the, oh, it's got the wrong, uh, <coughs> it's got the wrong thing on here. I like this configuration better, but the problem with this is uh, it won't work with the jack that I put in there because I intended to use one of the uh, one of the other ones. I know I have a bunch of 
two five five fours um, older electronic ones that I got from my old job the uh, telecom department was switching over to uh, all this digiti and funny junk and I asked if I could have a bunch of the two five five fours and they agreed so they're somewhere in here so let me see if I can find them and then we'll try to put one in the garage I actually found it very quickly, which is surprising. Um, this is one of the ones I got from my old job. And this is... It's made in the USA. It's from... Uh, 2009, I guess. And it has that stupid mount. And it has the electronic controls. Or buttons. So this should work perfectly for the garage. Okay, we're back in the garage. Now this should work. I know this has been stored correctly. It was stored uh, in the in the old studio. This is having a problem. I think the thing is a little bit misshapen or something. I can't can't quite get it on there. Yeah, it's not going in far enough. Oh, for heaven's sakes. We got 15 seconds away from just replacing the jack with a modern one. Well, actually, this is, um, the jack is not the problem, excuse me. The problem is the this stupid thing. That's it, I'm replacing it. I hate those things anyway. They, they, they stink. I have replaced these many times because I just don't like them. So what I do is uh, I snip it off as close to the thing as I can, which usually entails taking the wires out. And there actually is, is quite a bit left to work with. Okay, and we just got a new modular plug. Hmm, the ring switch appears to be busted on here. It's still movable, I guess, but the lever is gone. Oh well, I'm never going to be changing the volume on this. It's just going to be on loud constantly. So now we take the wires. Let's give them a better, cleaner cut. Now, I'm not sure why this has four wires coming out of it. I only, I'm only going to give it signal through red and green in the middle. I find that really strange that it's got so many wires. Ah, uh, got new wire cutters. These things are great. I'm just going to stick them all in the plug just so that uh, there's not loose wires floating around, but I really have no idea uh, why that's like that. This crimp tool stinks. Okay, so we got red and green through the metal. New modular plug. Let's try again. Okay, so now we can just take this wire and plug it in. That one's working. And that's much, much better. The only thing I don't like about this model 
is it's got the volume control which just tends to get scratchy over time but in a garage where there's going to be noise maybe good to have the extra volume it is working dial works fine good evening never forget to pay automatic bill payment people's united bank na member fdic today is tuesday Okay, they're all working correctly. Alright, I don't know if the ring is on loud or off. Well, let's go ahead and call it. Make sure the ring is on. Okay, so the ring is either off or broken. Hopefully it's just off. Good, it was just off. Hello. This is a test of this Cortelco telephone, which is in fact working. It's operating a person, and it's operating a person well. One, two, three, over and out. All right, let's just call it one more time to make sure that the ring is working. Yeah, definitely going to need that louder ring in here. This is certainly audible, but it's not super loud. Goose in, goose out. Okay. That completes that good reliable telephone for here in the garage.